on the banks of the Blanco. Many folks come here to picnic, swim, kayak, or hike the banks of the spring-fed Blanco River. Just an hour from Austin and San Antonio, let's see what Blanco State Park is all about. Entrance fee to the park is $5 per person and children under 12 are free. Blanco State Park is a small park and perfect for those trying to beat the Texas heat. This is a great park for families who want to get outdoors. The big draw is the Blanco River. On holidays and weekends, this park fills up quickly. Point of interest, the falls. Cool off after your hike at one of the most popular places in the park. At the end of the video, I'll share with you my favorite spot inside the park. Point of interest, the Caswell Nature Trail. This is one of two hikes in the park. It has a distance of 1.3 miles round trip with the difficulty of easy. You get to explore the riverside forest that leads to another point of interest. This is a great hike for families. Keep on the lookout for birds, snakes, and small mammals on this trail. Point of interest, CCC Dam. A park is born. Blanco State Park was one of the first of four parks in Texas to receive a civilian conservation corps. They worked for 11 months to build bridges, dams, structures, and roads. The CCC transformed the landscape and created the park you see today. Next, we travel to the CCC Picnic Pavilion, the centerpiece of the park. It was built in the 1930s by the CCC. It's a great place to sit, relax, and have a picnic. They also have a playground nearby. The second trail we hiked was short and sweet. On this trail, take your family to the bird blinds and keep your eyes open to see nature in action. The trail has a CCC pump house, which the trail is named after. At the end of the trail, you see another point of interest, the scenic view. I'll admit, I wasn't too impressed with the scenic views, but it did leave me curious. It looked like the trail continued. We decided to continue down the trail and found one of the best spots in the park. It's secluded and away from the crowds. What's great is the short hike to get here. The water at this point wasn't too deep as well. If you come to Blanco State Park, venture past the scenic overlook and hang out here. It's a great area to swim, tube, kayak, and fish. So what did you think about Blanco State Park? Have you been to this park before? What are some of your favorite state parks to visit during the summer? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel to learn more before you visit a Texas State Park. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.